immigrants. Immigrants. Ooh, everybody gets really cranky. Um, my thoughts on this, one of the thoughts on this, is that um, most of the European immigrants that come to Britain are young, educated, fit, um, law-abiding, clean-living, uh, nice people. I know because I've worked with a lot of them from Estonia, Latvia, uh, Lithuania, Poland, etc. Um, point to remember economically is that we're getting the benefit of these people without ever having had to um, school them or do the NHS thing. And uh, We've had 20 years of like putting money in we didn't have to do. And uh, these people have come here ready and fit to contribute. You know, that's a bargain, really. Uh, okay, it has put pressure on our housing. It has put pressure on our infrastructure, the transport, um, NHS possibly. Um, there may be housing credits and uh, that sort of thing going on. Um, but ultimately, um, that's not their fault. I mean, if we know that and have known for five years that uh, 300,000 are coming every year in excess of what's going out, uh, why haven't we built any houses? Well, I'll tell you why we haven't built any houses. Because it suits everybody, you know? Oh, yeah, we built houses, but we haven't built anything like enough. You know, we should be building 100,000 a year more. And the reason we don't do that is because everybody wants their houses to stay high. Because unfortunately, um, nowadays, an Englishman's home is not his castle, it's his pension. How did that happen? Well, in zero interest environment, um, that's what happens. You know, a zero interest environment means that you can't rely on a pension because pension funds require 5 to 7% returns year on year to achieve the payouts proposed 25 years from now. So that's not going to happen. So you're better off putting your money into the house and hoping to God that the um, house prices stay elevated. And that's the gamble everybody's at. Will it work out? Not, not likely, lads. You know, not likely. If the European economy picks up, which some stage, even despite of Mario Draghi, it has to. Um, sooner or later, they'll exhaust all stupidities. The market forces will take hold again. Um, industries that are actually lean and profitable will begin to grow again and they'll wipe away all the detritus of the last seven years of ZERP and NERP. And uh, employment will rise in the EU and 10, 15, 20% of the people who've come here over the last five, seven years will go home. What's that going to do to your housing market? I saw this play out in Ireland in a small way. And uh, England's a lot bigger, so it takes longer for the tide to wash over it. But wash over it, it will, you know. So in the meantime, give thanks, if your house is your pension, give thanks for those immigrants that are putting pressure on housing, driving up the, the price of it. Um, because if they weren't here, well... You wouldn't be any worse off, really, because you'd be able to sell your house and buy another house exactly equivalent and so on, and, and you'd be able to sell up in London and move out to the suburbs and have a little pot to play with, but it wouldn't be anything like the pot you have now. So, you know, give thanks for the old immigrants, you know. My parents were immigrants. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for immigrants. <laughs> so if you don't like immigrants, well, tough luck, guys. Tough luck. They're good for the country and they're very nice people 